<laughs> Good morning, friends. Oh my gosh, I am so happy to be vlogging again. I'm so happy to be vlogging again. So the last vlog that I uploaded was the calm before the storm. I thought like, okay, everything's back to normal. Getting back into the groove of it. We have like, I think it was a couple weeks until school starts. We just got home from vacation. Well, the next day after that vlog, GF tested positive for COVID. And so we were trying to isolate him. The next day after that, I tested positive. The whole week we were stressing, like we don't want the kids to get it. Obviously the baby, our like tiny little infant. We thought we were in the clear about a week later after um, wearing masks inside for days. I wore a mask sleeping for over a week. Then Theo tested positive. So I am hesitant to say that like we're on the other side of it now. It's been, it feels like it's been almost like two weeks. But so far, the baby's been okay. Hugo's been okay. Hugo's in school. He started kindergarten yesterday. Oh no, my battery light is flashing. Um, and it feels like finally we are after the probably the most chaotic summer we've ever had as a family we are finally getting back into a routine getting back into our groove you want toy story number one honey um theodore's watching a little toy story after i'm um, dropping hugo off at the bus oh my gosh how many updates i have so much to update you on wait one second we're currently having a little bit of a heat wave too so i'm sweating i'm wearing amelia she loves to be worn i feel like there's so much that I need to update you on that like where do I even begin I feel like I need to do like rapid fire a little bit so yes Hugo started kindergarten he had the best first day and like we all got through it I felt like I was watching the clock the entire day just like waiting for him like waiting for pickup he did so well on the bus too okay, I also have the battery light flashing at me Theodore starts preschool next week we put in the order for our cabinets so they should be coming in the next five-ish weeks um, we'll do demo before then. What else? Um, the bathroom and mudroom are done. I will show you those today. I promised you that in the last vlog and never got around to it. Um, we found out that Little Miss has a dairy allergy. And so we switched her from the Happy Baby Organic, which is so funny because in the one month update, I was like raving about, and I just edited it too. And as I'm watching it, I'm like, I'm a fool. Um, as <laughs> she is allergic or like they think she's allergic to dairy has a dairy allergy um so we switched her over um switched her formula she's doing a lot better um and what else <laughs> i feel like there's other things too that i wanted to mention um but let me flip the camera around i will show you the mud room we've already started using it as a mud room even though the cabinets are not in there yet so it's like a bit of a mess but let me show it to you i'll show you the bathroom too so here is the mud room i know it doesn't look like much right now and it looks like a big mess because we like started dumping stuff in here but i think it's going to be so great so we are getting um floor to ceiling cabinets put in here um we're going to go with the sage green color in here and i'm so excited i love the floors so much i think that they look so so beautiful um, so yeah, this is going to be like such a fantastic little mud room. Um, and when we get home, we'll start, uh, like coming in through the back way. And that way, once like the cabinets are installed, we can keep shoes and coats and everything in here. So, okay, and now time for the bathroom. So I don't, I don't know if you remember, but the door to the bathroom was originally here. We closed off this wall and this is where the stove is going to go. The stove, um, and the microwave, the oven are going to go against this wall with some cabinet cabinetry on either side um, and then we had the contractor move the door here and put a pocket door in which I'm obsessed with I love the pocket door now let's talk about the bathroom I love now that the bathroom is shut off there was also a window up there we shut that off um, and we got a new vanity so much of this was happening while uh, we were on vacation and we didn't before we left on vacation we didn't pick the color scheme for this room so we had to pick paint color while we were on vacation which like i could not you know advise against more i love the color i love this color i think it's a gorgeous color i think it's called rose dust by benjamin moore however this room now is like giving me 17 different vibes 
<laughs> and like design wise it's a bit of a mess also we're gonna move this carpet because it just doesn't match I thought it was gonna be more black it's reading more blue and it's just not it's not working um, also we went with a black vanity um, because originally I was thinking of doing some sort of like wallpaper like um, cream wallpaper with black accents but then we um, put off doing the wallpaper for now because it's like crazy expensive hello and so now the black just looks really stark against the walls like the walls are really soft and the black is really harsh so i'm still trying to figure out design wise like where we go from here um, i don't know if like we're going to end up needing to paint this a different color because it's just like not working all together it's also hard too because the floor is like such a brown like such a rich brown so it's like we've got so many different tones going anyway all of that is just to say that like this is a work in progress but it is a functional bathroom it's a private bathroom um, and the work that did get done is gorgeous I, I could not recommend our contractor more and um, yeah super freaking pumped also like just so obsessed with this pocket door i like kind of want to choose change all the doors in the house to pop all right and those are all the updates so far um the pest control guy i think is coming between 11 and 1 um but i don't need to be home for that so i think once i get um i think maybe around 10 15 10 30 uh we will go i need i'm doing a pickup order at whole foods and one at target um the one at whole foods i actually chose a whole foods quite far away because i want to just like get a, a drive-in we've been like cooped up in the house for so long that i think it'll just feel nice to like drive a little bit and maybe be able to get out in the car maybe and yeah and then we'll do target and we'll come home just did a whole foods pickup i'm gonna go Drive to Target. It came to the farther away. Yep, we're going. All right, we're home. That was successful. I really wanted both the kids to nap in the car, um, especially Theodore, and he did, which was good. Um, Amelia doesn't really like the car, so like sometimes she'll nap, sometimes she won't, but uh, she did, so that was good. And I'm gonna put away some groceries now. It does not. The um, pest control hasn't come yet, so it is a hot day. Definitely drove by Theodore's Elementary School. Just wanted to see they, it was too early for a recess. I don't know if they're going to go outside today because it's so hot, but it felt nice just to be close. Close to him. Got some more uh, mouthwash. And some dishwash and detergent. Oh my gosh, this is the biggest box. Okay, yep, we got apples. I will cut up some apples for you. All right, just labeled a bunch of Theodore's school supplies that came in and got um, a delivery from Target. And I had ordered this little mini uh, pancake slash waffle maker. I thought this would be so cute and fun for like the end of September and October. How cute is that? This one makes little ghosts. And then I also got the pumpkin one. I remember seeing these last year and I didn't get them. Um, but they're so cheap and they're so cute. Here's the pumpkin one. How cute is that? Oh my goodness. I cannot wait. I know Hugo's going to love that too. Are you going to read me the book? Just got back from picking up Hugo at the bus stop. I cannot find where I put my camera. I was just, like, I just had it. No idea where I put it, so I'm blogging my phone. Um, just picked up Hugo from the bus station. He had a great day at school. Uh, it's so hot out, though, and there's no air conditioning on the buses, so he was sweating. Uh, and I asked him if he wants me to pick him up from school tomorrow so that he doesn't have to ride the bus. So we'll see if he wants me to do that. I'm going to wash his lunchbox and snack bags and um, try to keep myself from falling asleep. I'm so tired. The Argo baby, which is good. Mm -hmm. 